Hey friends! Um, okay, so I have been busy making some bulletin boards for Minds and Bloom Unlimited. Um, so I have added this fun one that's collaborative and interactive for your students for math and also one for um, your writers. But while I was doing that, I was thinking about something that I could show you how to do, and that's how you can so easily make bulletin board letters that are super cute in any font, any size. So I wanted to show you that. So I was making them for the math bulletin board. Um, so I was able to use colors that matched and stuff like that. Um, but I went ahead and set up just like a template that you could practice on. So you can download that. Um, I'll put the link in the comment. So these are just shapes um, that I filled with um, a pattern. So I just did that by, uh, let's see, I went to shape format and then I did shape fill and then I went down to like textures or more textures and you can kind of play around with patterns and things like that. So I did this just so I was able to change colors to whatever color I wanted because I wanted it to match. But I also thought I could go into Canva and get some background pictures. So since spring has officially sprung, I got some pretty spring pictures, vibrant, um, and we can turn these into letters. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's so easy and fast. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just create a text box. So I created a text box. I sized it to 864 so that it would take up a whole sheet of paper. Now you might not want them that big. If you want like three or four to a page, you know, you can just adjust accordingly. Um, but once you have that done, well, I also changed it to transparent so that I could see which part of the picture I would be getting. So you can do that easily too. That's just the color. So you can just click on it and on the shape format tool, you can go to text fill and then just do no fill. And I did give it a black outline. That way I can see exactly where um, the picture is going to fit inside of the letter. So let's say I was doing blooming into math. So there's my B. Um, maybe you don't like that font, you can change the font. Um, but once you're ready, this is all you have to do. First, click the background picture or the shape. Um, and then while you're holding the shift button, click the text box. So now I have both things clicked and the order does matter. I, it's so weird, but the order does matter. Once you have both of them clicked, back the background picture first and then the text box, you're gonna go to shape format and then you'll click on where it says merge shapes, but don't click merge shapes, click the down arrow and then click fragment. And you'll see right away what happened. It looks like nothing happened really, but it cut out the shape of the uh, font into the picture. So if I drag it away, I can see that now I have a letter that is that picture. Once you have that, you can still do things like you can add a border so I'm just gonna do a picture border. Maybe you wanna make it a different color or a different weight. Um, and there you have your letter. I don't think that looks good, but <laughs> it looks better with the black. Um, and what is so fun about this is you can literally do any background, um, any color. You can, like this is just a shape that I inserted. Um, so that makes it fun. You can also go into Canva, like I said, get pictures that match whatever theme that you're wanting to do for your bulletin board letters, and then just cut them out. Then you print them and laminate them, cut them out and everything, and they're ready to go. So using that is something I do all the time when I'm making products using shape fragmenting. Um, and it's something that you can do to customize your own classroom and make it more fun for your students. I hope you have a great day. Bye.